Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Lena. Welcome back to another video. So first of all, Happy New Year. I really hope that I'm uploading this for the new year. <laughs> I want to talk to you uh, about the books that I'll be reading in January, basically my TBR for January. But the thing is, I was hoping to do the game, but we have finally gathered our like semi-finalists for our batch of SPFFC books. Now I can say it right. It only took me like five months. I have to read 10 books and from those 10 books I uh, select like my favorite three and the three with the highest average rating from all the members of my team will go to the quarterfinals, is it? We basically have to pick three to go to the other judges. So basically I'm going to tell you which books I'm reading this month. So they're all going to be science fiction. <laughs> I'm hoping to also read like some audiobooks because all of these are physical uh, reading. So I'll probably just read some audiobooks and some fantasy tomes. But let's just start with Night by Alan Miller. I have already read 20% uh, of most of these books, uh, between 10 and 20%. This one is my favorite for now. Oh man, it's basically about following the oldest member on earth like the oldest person but then one day everyone starts reverse aging <laughs> basically they get younger and younger and younger just like something like benjamin button you know but everyone so because he he was the oldest he is now one of the few remaining kind of humans and he's now uh 20 something years if i remember correctly it's so good the beginning is super intriguing like the moment i reach like 10 percent, i was just like this one this one i'm giving a yes to sounds fucking amazing and i hope that when i read the rest i love it as much because for now it's my favorite the next one is a uh, life on planet earth by andy gorman this one i actually really like too it's a close like second but i do have another favorite one so basically the earth has been inhabitable for a lot of years and now they all live in luna basically in the moon in this city and we are going to follow uh this pair of siblings and one of them has always been training to just get on this uh, expedition to just bring humans back to earth but when the seats are given he's actually not going his sister is and everyone is just like wait why is she going he's be he has like the best scores on everything so yeah it's a bit of a mess around but i love it i love the concept i think it's super great i love this like oh my god earth is shit and now we have to take it back love it i'm a sucker for that <laughs> the next one is broken ascension by dave walsh this is interesting okay this is one of those that you're like hmm pure sci-fi huh basically uh the humans and the aliens fought and now they have like this kind of agreement and they have to work together basically basically we're going to follow this uh crew of this fighter and once they are going through this uh the militarized zone they come across an alien kind of relic ship which you know is one of my favorite tropes yes and you know something we're starting to come out maybe some conspiracies i'm not going to spoil too much uh the beginning is fairly slow but it's very interesting like there's the beginning is just like what but then something happens and you're just like wait i'm into it this uh what i don't remember if it was one of my finalists because i chose my favorite 10 and seven of them made it but three were just like put aside i'm super bummed about it i will read them uh fully probably next month or the next one because i still really want to read them even though they are not like the chosen team finalists but still broken ascension so amazing the next one that i have here is synthesis wave and this is by uh rex dean you know, this one is weird but i really like the representation here so i was really excited about it i'm super happy that I made it to the to our finals <laughs> so this is basically about the change of the, phys the law of physics. Tsunami on the moon, such, you can read it in the summary. But we are basically going to follow Arx and he's a disabled ex-marine and he's trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I love it. I know it's vague, but this book is just so much better if you go blindly. Like, when I read the 30, I was just like, okay, I'm not reading summaries, I'm just going straight in. And for some books, it was just the right move. Like, such a right move to do. This one, 
my second favorite. This is the Peacemaker's Coat by uh, Deepak Malhorta. Dude. This is basically about a historian that is recruited to help kind of make peace and understand each other with this alien race. The Arrival, anyone? Just my favorite movie besides Lord of the Rings, you know? This one. This one. This was, uh, was another one that I was, uh, when I reached 10%, I was just like, okay, this one is making my card because it's amazing. <laughs> then I have here The Vacuum of Space by uh, Julia Huni. This is a murder mystery in a space station. That's kind of the way to summarize it. It starts off uh, very, like, very, very good. I really like the beginning of it. It's not like super fast, but you know something's going on right from the get-go. So I really liked it. I think that is uh, for now like the most like agree upon between all the team members. Like everyone's just like, yes, this is great. So we'll see how the mystery unfolds because with murder mysteries, the ending is always just like tilted more to one side than the other. So we'll see about it. This is The Stars Within by Lina Alison Knight. Don't get fooled by the cover because even though it, this is kind of categorizes romance apparently, um, this is about telepathic and telekinetic uh, soldiers that explode the other <laughs> enemy soldiers. The beginning was so surprising. Like I do have to admit that I uh, went into this one with um, no low expectations, but I was just like, okay, maybe this one I won't like as much, but <laughs> don't. The beginning, it's amazing. The first chapter is super good. Like gets you right in there, it's just great. I think it's going to accomplish like a great balance between the romance of the two dudes and uh, the gory aspects I vibe of it. Loved it, I really want to continue. It also felt like you can read it like super fast. So I'm really intrigued about this one. Then I have here The Orthogonal Galaxy by Michael L. Lewis. So this is, I think the one that is uh, most like traditional sci-fi of the bunch that we had like it's basically about exploring like uh parallel universes and different galaxies and, and stuff we have uh we follow uh different students we also have uh, nasa involved there's a lot going on it's very long also but i think it's just like the more like your traditional let's just investigate type of sci-fi which is something that i really enjoy so when i started this i was just like okay this one looks pretty promising, but being this long, uh, hmm, I'm not like fully commit to it. I'm just like, hmm, we'll see what happens, but I'm very excited about it. Then we have Convergence by Michael Patrick Hicks. This one, ah, uh, the beginning is really good. You're basically going to follow this guy and he is kind of an assassin, but the thing is he steals memories and he gets high on reliving these memories. It's such a good concept. I really liked it from the get-go. It felt super original. I love everything that has to do with memory in general, either in sci-fi or fantasy. So I was pretty into this one. Pretty gory as well, but that, that, that's my thing. So I really liked it. But yeah, I do have high hopes for this one. I hope that it keeps its space throughout the whole novel. But yeah, this one's great. Then the next one is Folder by uh, Raymond Bolton, that one. Uh, this is basically about a guy that gets in an accident and from that he basically gains powers just to fold reality. It appears to be really good, though I'm not 100% sold on this one yet, yet. I'm just like, hmm, for my badge it was just like, I do have to say that I put it in my top 10, but I'm just like, with a grain of salt, you know, I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but I really hope that it surprises me because the premise is fantastic, but I didn't get that much out of the first chapters, so we'll see. So those are basically all the books that I will 100% read this month, but just for you, I will link all the Goodreads pages down below for these books because we know the search engine for, for Goodreads is just fucking trash, but sometimes finding these books is a fucking nightmare. So I will just link all of that down below in the description of the video. And also I will pin it on a comment just right below this. But I will 100% read Reaper by Will White. Yes, <laughs> that's going to happen 100%, but just 
to keep it simple i want to include it here so i can just call this my spf fc reads for january so are you planning on reading anything in january does, does any of these books like sun intriguing to you but as always that's going to be all for today so i will see you in the next one bye